this is Tierra Robinson coming to you with a video showing you how to create a flyer on your phone. We're going to start off by clicking photo layer, which is at the top left. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I held it down too long. But um, select photo layer. From here, you're going to load a background image. One thing about photo layer, um, when you do this, you have to... Um, select a background image in order to crop your pictures out so um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just um, select this you can kind of tweak it however you want to I just just but I'm gonna do free because I want to get the whole thing I'm gonna select done and that's gonna be my background um, one good thing is once you have your background and you crop yourself out um, you can actually use your cropped out picture on other, other things, and I'll show you how to do that later. So once you have that uploaded, you can add a photo, which is at the top, the second um, icon. So I'm just going to add a photo. I'm going to go to my gallery and select something from my camera. So let's see. I'm just going to select this because it has a background. Now, um, <clears throat> this one... When you want to crop, um, you want to select according to, so you don't have to crop so much out um, or take too much background out, rather. So I'm going to click Done, and that's how it looks. Now, if you want to take the background out and just make this a regular picture, um, it's already selected. You're going to click Cut. Now, Cut is... Um, a tool that you can cut out all the background so manual you're manually erasing right if you mess up you hit this undo button and it'll take it off so what I like to do is I like to use the auto the auto is the star at the bottom and when you click it that target in the middle will take everything out for you you see how it's taking it out now with this picture being so bright I probably should have clicked a different picture, but let's see if I can um, mark it out. Uh-oh, my battery's getting low. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hurry up. Oh, I do. So I can do it this way, but I'm just going to click the, the manual to do it faster because my battery is a little low. But either way... Now, if you notice this little white dot that's taking stuff off, that is not your guide. This pink, this pink at the bottom is the true guide for cropping this out. <clears throat> so as I'm moving it, I'm actually moving the hot pink and not the colored pink one. I meant the clear pink one. The ball, I'm talking about one. But I'm using a clear pink ball to crop out. So I'm just trying to get around so you can see how easy this is. And it looks like my head's a little flat, so I kind of want to shape it a tad bit so it don't look so now. I'm going to go on the other side and get in here. I know this looks a little weird, but this is a quick tutorial. All right, it looks a little better. Another thing there in this bottom left above the extract, you can change the background so you can actually see how it's going to look on top of a actual picture. So I'm going to click done. And you see I'm um, cropped out. So if you want to smooth it out, you can click any one of these and you can smooth it as much as possible. And when you got it to your liking, you click done and boom, it's cropped out. Now you can kind of fit it to however you want. What we see depends mainly on what we look for. And I'm just going to put that there. Um, and I'm going to save it. So 
So as you notice, I there was a black line. Should have went back, but there was a black line. So it's just only going to pull in where you want it to be. I wanted to push it down. But you see this black line, the outline? So that's the only pieces you're going to see of yourself when you actually save it. So I pulled it down a little bit. Boom, there's my flyer, right? Now another thing about this app is that with Photo Layer, you cannot add letters. So I have another app um, that I use. So I'm going to push finish. Now I have the option to share it. I can share it to Facebook if I'm ready to share it. Um, group me, Messenger, Gmail, however you want to share it. You have that option to share it. But if you don't um, want to share it, um, that's fine because I don't want to share it yet because I want to do something else. So that was um, photo layers. Now, I have another app. It's called Blend Collage. So let's go to Blend Collage. Uh, where are you at? Here we go. Blend Collage. It looks like this. We're going to create a collage, right? So I'm going to add a background. And my background... Uh, I'm going to pick from the photo gallery. And as you can see here, you will see my already cropped out. I can use myself already cropped out or I can pick from photo layers, which is my already made device. Now, if the background is too much and you're cutting yourself out, don't worry. Don't use it as a background. What you're going to do is create a collage. You're going to add a photo. You're going to pick from your gallery. And you're going to select... Um, here we go. You're going to select your picture, right? Now, these, you can just kind of broaden it as much as you want to make it big. I'm trying not to hit this. Okay. So, I'm going to center it, right? Boom. The good thing about this is you can keep it white. If you want to have a, ba uh, a background color, you can change the color to any color. Let's see, we got these pinks, but I like white, so I'm just going to leave it white, but you can kind of play with it and see what you want, reshape it, but I'm going to keep it white because it's going to be easier, all right? So we're going to keep it white. I'm going to add a text in it, right? So I'm going to put Tierra Robinson. Four zero four nine six four five one four three. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna even put certified travel agent. Bam, just a little name tag. Okay, so you have it white, and you wanna put your name tag on it, right? And you say, mm, "That ain't cute, right?" So let's edit the text, right? While it's highlighted, we're gonna edit the text. You hit this settings button. You can change the font to anything you want. So you just pick to your liking. Just say I want to have that, right? You can change your color. So it was like a pinkish color. So we're going to do pink, white. Let's add a little yellow in there. Um, and purple, I think. Looks like. No, nah, I don't like that purple. Let's do that black. Kind of make a little... All right, mm, that ain't cute. All right, let me put a little more black in it. Bam, now it looks a little more to the thing. Boom, Tierra Robinson, certified travel agent. For, and then I have my number on there. You can put your website, whatever you want to do. So this is good for like when you want to add text on top of your um your flyer, because photo layer does not give you the capability to do your text. And that's how I do it. I hope this helps. Um, we're going to save it. It's just like the other one. You can share it. Um, I always save it to the maximum um, because it looks pretty and vibrant. 
and then it gives you an option if you want to share it now you can just share it um wherever you want to share but i'm not going to share it now because i'm not going to use that i'm going to probably do something a lot more creative but that's how i do it um so again is blend collage and that's this one right here or and i always do that don't mind my screen but blend collage and photo layer which looks like that all right i hope this helps good luck and have a blessed and wonderful day